Hello everyone and don't know us today we got another review this time it's not a Marvel Legends it's not uh, what, uh, what else do I actually usually review McFarlane nah it's not that either it's actually Zerl from Toy Story well actually it's not really Toy Story but it's kind of I don't know how uh, it's from the Buzz Lightyear movie I don't know where that movie like fits in in the Toy Story timeline but it's something that exists and here's Zerg from that movie this guy is pretty big, by the way, like this is the Marvel Legends Hulk, who is huge, and you can see how short he is, I have to like fully extend my camera, like my camera tripod thing, to get a good view of this thing. Uh, I always wanted a Zerg toy, but I didn't get it, like because of uh, tax and shit. I, this is you, I wanted like a classic Zerg, like a Toy Story uh, 2 Zerg, but I didn't get that. I got this because I was too expensive and all the tax and stuff when I added to it it's like huge expense but this isn't that expensive since the movie came out I'm pretty sure this is gonna be expensive as that as time goes on but as of now it was eh, decently priced I guess still a bit too much but decently priced anyways my camera stand is acting like a dickhead but whatever it's fixed I guess so anyways yep for size comparisons I'm gonna do this real quick here's uh, Hulk uh, I'm gonna get a uh, normal Marvel Legends here. And I'm gonna show you, this guy is actually 6 inch scale, so you can see how tall he is. This guy, uh, Zerg is like 10 inches tall. I mean, it's supposed to fit in with the uh, 5 inch, 4 inch, not 6 inch, it's definitely not 6 inch, like 4 inch, 5 inch scale, plus later figures, so I don't have any of those. And I do have the, it's a dusty as fuck, but it's the uh, metal, metal, uh, Toy Story 4 was later and yeah it fits in pretty good even though this doesn't exist like the, the, these two versions of Buzz and Zerg never meet together but yeah I guess it's it's close enough so yeah here's Buzz and uh, Zerg together height is pretty uh, actually normal because like these guys metal made a Zerg figure and it, the height is about the same as this so yeah kinda, kinda decent height so I'm gonna put Zerg back where he belongs I know it's a bus right here. Back your lungs within the sky with Woody and Jesse. So that's that. So, uh, for sculpts and stuff, this figure is just full of sculpts. Like, if you want drivers, this thing is gonna be look amazing. But I didn't do that because I just want a clean Zerg. I don't want a drivers like dirty kind of Zerg. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. For accessories, he actually. Okay, where did I put this guy's arm? Yeah. He actually comes with an arm. Yes, he has two arms. If this is necessary, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of isn't, like, they could have easily implemented something else, but you just kind of pop it off, put the other one back in, like that. It, I didn't do it right now, but I could, just like that. But, uh, so there any stress marks, no. So, the whole thing about this arm is that it got this kind of uh, thing, like a tube connection to the bicep area. And you see, can you, you can see it's his ion blaster. And you got these things, hello, uh, shit. Uh, in the original Toy Story movie, like Toy Story 2, that's where he uh, but, uh, the first appeared. It was like balls, and he would shoot out of these balls, but I guess it's kind of based of this. This is based of that, I guess. I don't really know how the Buzz Lightyear movie works in, in the uh, Toy Story, like, timeline. But anyways, these three of them shoot together. But actually, this has a really good firepower. Like, for a toy, for kids, this actually really have pretty good of uh, firepower, I'm just shoot it right now like I know that wasn't really much but I've dealt with toys which can shoot projectiles and this thing shoots really uh, shoots really powerful it could probably make someone blind if it hits someone in the right face right part of the face which is the eye, I don't know what the fuck I'm even saying so I'm gonna just shoot it one more time this angle like it goes pretty fast is pretty good uh, if you wanna kill someone I guess not kill someone uh, if you wanna shoot the eye off so yeah that's that's the weapon uh, this is not this is like the things the projectile things you can see how they are it got these shaped things inside can you see that I might just increase light you can yeah you can you can probably see that see that thing right there kinda shape kinda designs like this it goes in like that and th and this 
goes in the other way like that and this shape goes in like this see and that's how that works I don't really recommend putting all these together and inside the arm blaster thing because it probably will stress out the string and make it weird and stuff like less powerful I guess but that's that he has no elbow articulation by the way but this arm I'm gonna just attach this arm for the rest of the review because it's more articulation and looks better I guess uh, the main reason about this, the main flaw about this is that they could have easily made a function where they pop this this whole arm piece from this point and they are just attached this thing but then I guess the spring and function fun, what the fuck am I saying spring function doesn't work I guess I mean they could probably could like make it come back inside this much space but uh, they didn't and I guess this hose the kind of thing tube kind of thing is also a big deal but uh, I guess I don't know they really really had to do that I guess I mean they still could have done the hose thing just kind of detach from here and detach it re to this part to this arm part and then you pl plug this out I mean uh, take this out for the gun to arm you just plug it in and they could have easily done that but they didn't do that they chose to give him an entire arm which is uh, okay I guess but be careful when you uh, pop this arm off because it could easily break I feel like it breaks, it's gonna break one day but it doesn't really feel that way to be honest but still you can see this arm has no squeaks and this arm see hear that? that's scary as fuck it could break any second to be honest like I don't really actually this arm very much you can see that, hear that see I don't know why that sound is coming from this here because like really it's is it friction? I mean it probably is but I don't know, it's probably because it's in interchangeable or something weird happening here, like, it doesn't happen here. Because this arm is completely fine. You can do normal articulation completely fine. But this arm has this noise. So, pretty, it's pretty hard to pull the dress off. But my fear is that it's gonna break from this section, okay. From this section. That's my fear, I mean, if it, it's, does it have a stress mark already? No, it doesn't, right? No, it doesn't. So that's good. So that's that. So for uh, articulation, I guess. Okay, it doesn't focus again. Uh, the head can move up that much. It can move down that much. Do a kind of a 360. Yeah, this is 360. Very tight though. You can hear that clicky kind of joint thing. Kind of afraid if it's going to break from there also. Like that connection thing, that rod thing. It's going to break from there. Oof. That's that. You look up that much. Can't look down because of the color thing of the suit. Oh, it's a suit. It's not actually it's a robot. It's a robot? No, it's not actually a robot yet. So, anyways, you can see the arm only moves about that much. Elbow articulation about uh, 90 degrees. Yeah, 90 degrees. Exactly 90 degrees, I think. Then, uh, can't move that much up because of the shoulder pad. Same goes for the back side. Uh, it has this articulation. Which it is completely unnecessary. They could have just done a bicep swivel and it would have been amazing. But this is completely unnecessary because what does this actually bring? You can rotate this arm piece. The uh, entire this you can rotate the hand. That's enough. You don't you don't need to do this. I mean it came packed like this, but it's supposed to be like this, so I think at least it's, it looks good like better like this, so that's that. Same for this arm <coughs> it's, except it's a bit tight. That's that. Good twist of the uh, waist area. That's how uh, he looks like if he's, upside, I mean, not upside down like this, I guess. So that's that for leg, normal kick. That's a good axe kick, not gonna lie. And splits, kind of splits. Uh, kind of do the splits as well. Bend the knee about there, bend the knee. And it has this useless ass articulation. Like, why why does this exist? If this is not angle pivot, this is not nothing. This is just a little. I don't know why this exists. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? It, I guess it kinda benefits in some poses, but still, no, this is completely useless. They could have probably uh, removed this and make this whole section a solid piece. And uh, that won't work, I guess, but eh, I don't really know. Who am I? I'm not an engineer of toys. This is, I don't know, this is, this is what it is, I guess. So, yeah, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. This is the figure all together. Zoom in a bit. Zoom in, yeah. There we go. That's that. 
so yeah good figure I guess uh, if you are going to buy this I do not recommend popping out and putting this gun arm back on too much it could probably damage the figure and break out the uh, entire arm of one day and do not put these three missiles inside this arm at all time if you're gonna fire it then put it in and shoot it out that's that but if you're gonna keep it in that's probably not a good idea it's probably gonna stress out the spring inside this arm so that's that so yeah in the end of the day it's a pretty good figure does it match with the original Toy Story bus? Well, that's up to you. I can't really decide what you want to do. So that's that. And uh, where is it? Yeah, if you're thinking about Marvel Legends, yeah, yeah, it, this works. This really works. This size kind of works. The uh, details and stuff, the stylized looks kind of works, I guess. So that's that. So yeah, that's it for about for the review. Uh, so subscribe like that. Okay, if you're not focused, yeah. Subscribe like that. Peace. Bye.